Welcome to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Well, we got the Impala in the shop and it has an ABS light on. That's anti-lock and braking system. Now, you know, anti-lock and braking systems is one of the best safety enhancements in decades. Brian, ABS is cool. It's even cooler how it works, but you know, it can sure be intimidating. It's an awesome system when everything's working properly, but the reality is there's a lot of people out there that are very comfortable these days doing basic brake jobs. You enter in those three famous letters, ABS, the fear factor goes through the roof. So today, we're gonna to take that fear factor away. And the key word there was base brake systems. When we're dealing with the base brake system, I got a good analogy for you, Brian. Think about window crank and having power windows all at the same time. That window crank could be the base brakes, you know, which ours are great, it's feeling good, doesn't even feel like it has a brake problem, yet we have this ABS light on. So then all of a sudden we have these power windows. So my power windows are out, but the base brakes work just fine. So in that case, you know, always, we can go ahead, a lot of modules have codes, so we can go ahead and scan it and get a code, that's hugely important because that'll give us a direction to go in. I mean, it could be wheel speed sensors, wire harnesses, so modules, it could things. be anything. It really could. That and a good visual inspection. So I'll pull the codes, you start on the visual inspection. You know what, just like any project here in the Tech Garage, step one is a good visual inspection. So get yourself a flashlight. I've got the air box actually removed here so you can see a good look right into this ABS control module. So with the flashlight, I'm looking for any kind of drips. Here's the lines, one line going to every wheel. Here's the in and out to the master cylinder. So I'm looking here, there's nothing obvious, no leaks. I can't feel any brake fluid. Don't forget, brake fluid's slippery. If it's gonna leak anywhere, you're gonna see evidence of it. And I just don't see any of that evidence. Look down on the transmission housing for any drip marks. There just aren't any. So I don't think we have a leak here. I think our next step is to pull a code. Remember, this is a chassis code, so you gotta have the right scan code reader. Hey John, you got a code? Yeah, well, I'm starting to pull a code right now. And what I have over here is I have a scan tool, and this is pretty cool because I'm wirelessly connected over to the OBT2 connection in the Malibu, so it's a wireless scan tool. Now, I put it on the screen so you can see and follow along with me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and auto ID the car. What it's gonna do, it's gonna start talking to the computer in the car, and it's gonna figure out what it is, and it's found it right there. That's exactly what it is. It's a 2000 Chevy Impala, so I select that one. Pretty simple, got a bunch of selections here from maintenance test all the way to electronic brake control. That's what we're talking about, okay? We wanna look at the ABS and see what's going on. So if I just click that, we go into electronic brake control. It says to me that it's gonna be disabled during the test. We don't wanna go driving around, do this. We wanna actually do it right here on the screen. I'm just gonna say okay and then it's gonna look at it. Now I have some choices. I can look at data stream, which is a bunch of information about the ABS system. I can do maintenance tests. I can do all kinds of stuff, but right now we're just kind of setting a diagnostic basis of what's going on. So let's see if it has any codes in there. That's what we can do. Now it's gonna take a couple minutes. It's gonna go ahead and talk to the computer, once again, wirelessly through the OBED2 connector. And when it does that, it's showing the codes. It actually says three of three. Oh boy, we got some codes in there. And bingo, there they are. Okay, so we're talking about a 0561-71 and a C0550, and I can tell you from experience, we looked at a couple of these at Tech Garage before, and when you're talking about these C0550 codes, they're usually catastrophic damage. That's module, and that's what it says here, electronic control unit performance. Now, Brian can probably access the unit, and we can go through a flow chart, but I'll tell you, just because it's Tech Garage, I'd rather have it at the bench. Go ahead, take it apart, look at it, understand it. I'll pull a flow chart. Brian, you go ahead and just pull the unit. That's the best course of action. Good call, John. I'll tell you what, I'm a half a step ahead of him. I was anticipating a problem there. So what I've done before I loosen any bolts here is I've labeled these lines. You don't want to cross anything up. You're going to have big problems later on. You especially want to label the in and out lines from the master cylinder to the master cylinder. I'm going to do that with just an A and B tag. And I'm just going to use a fancy tool. It's called a Sharpie. This is B. We'll call this one A. And I get my Sharpie. And I come down here and I'm going to mark one, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to mark A. This is B right here. This is A right here. This is gonna be B, marking it right on the master cylinder, and of course that one has to be A. So that way we've got a point of reference, we can't mess this up. So, always use a tubing type wrench when you break these loose, and you wanna get these loose, you can then move to an open-ended wrench. Some of these are gonna be just finger tight afterwards. And you work with these gently, you don't wanna bend any lines or break any lines. I'm just taking my time here. And one more here, and you've got to get the lines going to the wheels off first so that then you can get the 
master cylinder lines off. So you can move to an open end. I'll tell you what, these feel finger tight. There's a drip pan I've put down underneath the vehicle, anticipating we might have to remove these. You want to capture that brake fluid and dispose of it properly. I'm just going to work this up. There's one. And we're going to go ahead and get our open end to help us out here. This one's going to be a little more difficult coming off. Just take your time here. There's no reason to hustle. Then there's two mounting bolts on this unit, 10 millimeter. We're just going to get them loose. And we're going to get this off and get it over to the bench so John can show us exactly how it works. So I'm going to get these off. Stay with us on Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. This is an awesome project.